up everybody um, I'm gonna do a quick introduction to this one so I'm up here in Heber Utah um, man lost his wedding ring on the Provo River and uh, uh, posted it on the uh, Utah metal detecting site uh, I know there's been a few that have gone out for it uh, the water is uh, pretty good current right there um, there was a video of where he was where he thought he lost it and so forth so I uh, don't know exactly right where the location is. I'm hoping to set up my dive buddy system and uh, my air buddy system and be able to get close to it um, and stay down long enough to retrieve it. So, uh, wish me luck. Uh, I just, uh, In one mile, turn left onto South Main Street. Um, I just texted uh, the guy. Nobody has reported it back uh, that it's been found. So, we are going to go after it. Like I mentioned, I don't have a ton of time, so I'm, um, because I need to be home by 4:30 for <laughs> get my that's when my babysitter has to leave. So it's gonna be quick in, quick out. Let's see how we do. Bye. out there you see with that little bubble area right there probably just another five feet past that it seems like it was the spot but oh, let's go find it Hopefully it's right there sitting pretty for us be nice to get a quick one all right everyone i figured i would just narrate this portion of it um, so my game plan was to get into the water with my air buddy, but I realized quickly that that would take a lot of time. So I just went with the mask and snorkel. Um, I figured I'd start moving along I'll parallel to that rapid, right where that video showed him looking for the ring. And I've, since I hadn't, hadn't ever found this type of ring before, I figured it was important to pull up any and all signals. So as you can see here, Right off the bat, I'm getting my first signal. And the water in the Provo River is pretty chilly. It's uh, usually in the 50s. So this is a little bit of a moment where I'm trying to take some deeper breaths and so I can hold my breath underwater. It's like that first time going under the water. It's always the hardest. Um, so I'm mentally preparing for myself. And so as I get down there, I'm just holding my breath and uh, looking for it. But it doesn't matter where you're at. You're always going to find a aluminum can or two and that's what was the case for the first one but my strategy was really to go parallel to the rapid and try to align myself and make sure that I go through and slowly move my coil over every crack and crevice and make sure that I get all the signals possible um, typically, men's rings are not going to fall under, I'd say, 12 on the Equinox 800. Um, maybe somebody else out there will will uh, have some feedback on that. But in my experience, I haven't really found rings under that for men's rings. Women's rings, different story. But as you can see, I'm just moving along here. Love how the, uh, the sun or the light rays are coming through the water. That's pretty cool. Um, but uh, I just keep checking myself, making sure that I'm on the right line and uh, continue through. And this goes on and on for a few minutes, um, just making sure that I check every single nook and cranny and crevice that I possibly can. And uh, as I keep on moving upstream, I figure I'm getting to a point where, you know, it might be a little on the shallow side, um, but actually later found out that he had fallen twice. Uh, and that actually kind of came into play here. So not a whole lot of signals. Uh, others had searched for this rink, and so I'm sure they had removed a few. Um, but uh, as you can see here, a little more in the shallow area now, but I am getting a signal here that potentially could fall into that. But unfortunately, uh, what what else would you find in a river besides some type of spinners or fishing <laughs> equipment? So ends up coming through, and then a third signal, well, let's just see.
for a zirconium rig. Hopefully. That's it, it's zirconium rig. Bingo. It's really low. 12, 14. All right, I don't know if you see that rapid right behind me there. I was just sticking my head down in there. Got a low signal and hopefully it comes through, but I got it. So that's the second ring for the day. Um, this was posted on Facebook and others, others that went looking for it. So super happy about that. But uh, we'll uh, get back to the car and reach out to the person and uh, sure enough um, we'll go from there <laughs> two rings in the river today so super happy about that and yeah so until next time we'll see ya okay Vera what's up man how's it going? how you doing good I'm filming Michael nice to meet you nice to meet you too cool my daughter has something for you no way <laughs> thank you <laughs> Is that the right one? That's the one. All right. That's so crazy. That I can't is, believe you found it. Uh, so it was right there. So. That's some good luck right there. Yeah. <laughs> really good luck. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go, I appreciate man. that. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, he's going to be super excited. Is All he right. coming back from New York? Yeah. Yeah. He'll be back, I think, here in the next week or so. Okay. So he went there for graduation with his wife. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go FaceTime him and let him know. <laughs> All right. That's but awesome. Yeah. Thank you, man. That's awesome. That's no so problem. Cool. Might have to grab a picture of you with the ring real yeah, quick. Sure. What a great recovery that was. Um, as you might have saw there, they did offer a reward. Um, I do accept rewards if, uh, if you know, if given. It's not expected. Um, I don't expect anything. Um, I love getting out there and applying the 15 years of experience with metal detecting that I have to help people out. Um, I do love getting my kids involved as well so that they can see some, uh, um, some good in the world. And uh, yeah, just awesome recovery. Hopefully they'll be back out there on the water catching fish in no time. Um, but it was a fun recovery and looking forward to others. Um, so stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be really epic. Super happy about it. <laughs> Can't wait to get it out. Just waiting for a few things to happen between now and then. And uh, yeah. But uh, until the next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, um, click the uh, bell for the alerts. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.